Hi everyone, it's Karen. It's been such a long time and I'm really looking forward to doing vid videos again. In any case, this is a quick little video that I'm doing for one of the subscribers in my Slow Up Cameo support group. She needs to figure out how to make a change to a file that she's got. I'm going to go and open up the file. Okay, so this doesn't need to be on a 12 by 24 mat, so I'm going to change that over here. I'm just going to use an auto cameo mat. I don't want to see the grid and I just want to see it a little bit bigger. So what she wants to do is have this flag in such a way that when she lifts the vinyl off her mat, she will lift off one piece. In other words, as it is now, this area would be one piece and these three bars would each be another piece. So she wants it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some rectangles, some thin rectangles that I'm going to use to weld those pieces together. And they really only need to be very thin. I'm actually going to use the same one for both. Okay, so let's bring this over here and make sure that it's shorter than the image. Oops, I did that wrong. Okay, so that's shorter and it can be much thinner than that. It doesn't need to be that thick. Okay, so that's the piece I'm going to use for there. And I'm just going to duplicate that. So I've got two pieces like that now. Before I do anything else, I'm going to select the entire flag. And what I did is I held down my left mouse button and I dragged across the entire image to select all of it. You can see that there's now a bounding box around everything and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose make compound path. So that's done something strange here that I didn't expect so I'm going to undo it. I presume this is because it's already a compound path. It's actually grouped more than once. So I'm going to ungroup until it's all separate pieces. Okay, so that's what I'm expecting. So let me do this again. I'm selecting everything and I'm making a compound path. Now it's what I expected. All of this is one piece and I'm going to be able to weld these two pieces to the ends and make that work the way I expect it to. And to make this line up correctly, to be right on the very left edge of the piece, I'm just going to drop that piece here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to select the flag and that's one piece so you know that you're selecting everything together. Click the alignment function buttons over here. I'm going to choose align to the left and that has now aligned that exactly along the left side. So with everything selected, I'm going to right click and choose weld. You see that that has now welded onto the side of there and it's changed the color so that it's all the same. I'm now going to do the same thing with this piece. I'm going to move it into position, making sure that the ends are within these bars. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to click the, well, the align button is already selected. It's showing me the transform panel and I'm going to click the right align button. That aligns it to the right. I'm going to right click and choose weld. So that's done the same thing here. So now when you cut this piece, it's all going to be one piece. And when it cuts, nothing is going to be left behind that you have to place on your project individually. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.